everyone. Today I'm at Kelly's Toyota. Another Kenny, trying to done the goal. All additional information about this dealership will be mentioned in the description box below. Today I'm going to give you a full in-depth tour of this 2011 Toyota Urban Cruiser. In this review I'm going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. Also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take a look around the exterior. So let's begin. This car does have a smart key access system, as we'll now demonstrate. Push the button on the door, and that locks it. Put your fingers behind the panel, and it unlocks. Power locks and windows. Speaker in the door panel. Power mirrors. Full manual adjusting seats. A few footer cap release on the floor. The Urban Cruiser also comes with a start stop uh, ignition. So it leaves the key about my person. Play the clutch the whole way in. Light turns green and you hold it in. Has a six speed manual transmission. To engage reverse, you just simply pull up on this all the way over to the left and up. The locks, traction control. We just look up in the little screen here when I press it. It's now telling me that it's four wheel drive. Disengage it, it's now front wheel drive. CD radio. You can adjust the stations from the radio itself, or you can use the kit on the steering wheel. Fire control. If you press mode, you can adjust the channels. Hands free Bluetooth kit as well. Digital clock. Climate control settings for passenger and driver's side. Cigarette lighter and ashtray. Looks at our import. Also has two cup holders for this removable. Or change, or maybe you could use it as an ashtray. Small storage area, cup holder towards the back. Comfortable and supportive class seats. Good size glove box. Second one. And the mirrors. Also has auto dimming rear view mirror. So let's take a look at the back seats. Also has some ashtray down here. Windows back here too, and a cup holder.
plenty of leg room and headroom back here. Very spacious car. Storage compartments. Seat belt, which is extended from the roof. Full adjustable headrests. front. So let's turn on the hazards. So that's the headlights and fog lights. All electric windows. And take a look at the exterior. Let's release the fuel filler cap. Car's metallic grey in colour. Tinted rear windows. Indicators in the side mirrors. Sixteen inch chrome alloy wheels. Chrome going along the bottom of the doors. Passenger side is very comfortable. Cup holder. So that's manual adjusting seats. Integrated third brake light. Also rear spoiler. The Urban Cruiser does have a rather small boot, but if you do fold the back seats flat, obviously you get a lot more cargo storage. Seats fold flat. So let's see how the Urban Cruiser sounds. That's yeah, so about two and a half thousand RPM. Very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Sporty thumb grips and contrast stitching.
engine in this car is a 1.4 litre diesel, produces 88 brake horsepower, we can go on to a top speed of 109 miles per hour, also produces 151 torques and can average about 57 miles to the gallon. All the dials look very nice in the urban cruiser when it's dark. Seems to have a very nice orange theme going as well. Let's take a walk around the outside. Motor. So a few things I'd like to say about the Urban Cruiser. To begin with, it's actually a really nice new uh, car that Toyota have out, so it is. Uh, I like the idea that it's uh, a 4x4 that you can also drive around town and city. And, um, you know, it's not massive. And, you know, it's, it's nice to drive and very easy to park. It's also a very spacious car and very comfortable. It's also well equipped with the CD radio functioning steering wheel. It's a really nice car all around. The boot space is surprisingly small for something for a car like this I was actually expecting it to be a bit bigger but you know that's just the way it is I'm afraid. Um, obviously if you fold down the rear seats there will be a lot more cargo space but you know we don't so it is rather small to be fair. Uh, other things, uh, this car does have a 5 star Euro NCAP safety rating and I do hope to have a crash test video with that as well. So I think that's all I want to say about the Urban Cruiser, so we'll finish up the video. I hope you enjoyed this full and net tour of the 2011 Toyota Urban Cruiser. Remember to rate, comment and subscribe and please stay tuned. We'll be playing more videos to come. Thanks everyone.